Gareth Bale <laughs> has just rejoined Spurs. Are you mad? Bro, Twitter was going in a frenzy yeah, when bro. everyone was saying, like, oh my God, it, it could actually happen. Why yeah. is this real? And I was just sitting there thinking, <laughs> and don't do that to me. <laughs> the agent came out saying that there were so many big offers that came from me. He said, no, I want to come back and play for Spurs. It, oh, it, just, it doesn't feel real. real. Bro, it doesn't feel real. real. I'm just <laughs> with the mentality got fed for the ba 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 I'm seeing people saying, oh, he's too old this, he's too old that. I'm just thinking, bruv, shut up, man. They're putting us through back soons on our screen. <laughs> not been able to watch football matches. This is what they're doing by winning the FA Cup. Pete, I'm hearing Manning saying our trophy cabinet is buffering. I was like, oh my God. Kane and Bell up front. Bro! Bro! Oh, oh, Tiger Woods and Rory what? McIlroy! Oh. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Obviously, George Achillea here outside the beautiful Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, currently sitting like Poet and Vooj do when they do their videos. <laughs> but you know what? You know, it's not a copycat. We just wanted the nice, nice scenery. But nice yeah. setting, bro. We yeah, needed exactly. It. Needed exactly. It. I told you guys the collabs were coming on the channel. I've been joined by Mitche Artist. Yes, yes, What's yes. Going yes. On, bro, man? Love for having me, bro. Oh, Love man. For Thanks me, for coming bro. on, man. Yeah, obviously, man, come on. I said to the guys I was going to get more collabs, big collabs going. Now, obviously, yeah, we've got some. On. Big stuff brewing. Let's, yeah. ju let's just say, let's Cooking. just leave it at that. We'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave a little teaser, okay? So, if you want to find out what that is later on, make sure to press that subscribe button down below. Press that subscribe Especially button. if you're a Spurs fan, because right now, if you're not subscribed, it's red, and we don't want to see red anywhere near this channel, okay? So, press that subscribe button, turn it white and grey, just like the home top, that beautiful Come on. home top that you're wearing Come right on. there. Come on, and uh, yeah, I think we get talking on to the biggest, the biggest, biggest news that I think Spurs biggest. have heard in a long, long time time music okay. to my ears bro music to my ears gareth bale <laughs> has rejoined spurs bro i wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I need to say that again just for, <laughs> just for the people in the back that might not have, <laughs> might not have heard me all right <laughs> gareth bale <laughs> has just rejoined spurs are you mad bro, do you know how gassed i am like i can't stop smiling the sun <laughs> is out we're outside the stadium beautiful weather do you know what i mean especially with, like the third kit obviously like it's like glisten a bit it's in the sun beautiful, it's just got the summer vibes is. football is back we've got one of the best wingers in the world back at the club back where it belongs you know i, I want to ask you bro like, what, we'll start we'll take it way back what did you first think when the rumors started appearing again I was like, whatever, was like I've got my heart broken a few times. I just said, yeah. no, let me just leave it there. Whatever happens, happens. Like, but I, I kind of thought with the influence that Mourinho has, maybe he can make it happen. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But I was like, you know, it's just smoking mirrors. Like, let's just see what happens, really. I literally just left it at that. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? I didn't really think much of it. I never thought it would turn into this, bro. I'll be real. No, I'll be not honest. at all. I think I'm exactly the same. Like, it's, what is it? Like, every single year for the past however many years, <laughs> five years, it's always like, oh, go back to Spurs, go back to Spurs. Exactly. And then exactly. rubbished it. It's <laughs> <laughs> in the bin, never happen. We can never afford his wages. And normally, it's actually his agent is the first person to say, nah. Yeah, he shuts <laughs> it down. He shuts he it down straight. Back. He didn't go back. And then I saw like Twitter was going in a frenzy yeah, when bro. everyone was saying, like, oh my God, it, it could actually happen. Why yeah. is this real? And I was just sitting there thinking, <laughs> and don't do that to me. <laughs> it's hard enough not being back in the stadium and you're telling me we might actually get him back. Like, don't. But um, no, I can't lie. I got caught up in it on Sky Sports. I was just, my, my watch time on my, my, what's it, my screen time. Yeah. <laughs> on Twitter is probably a bit of a joke right now. I was, it went all the way, like literally I got the, the iPhone update and my, my screen time went all the way up because like you said, I was just all on the social, yeah, yeah. just trying to see if it was legit. Do you know what I mean? And like, I got caught up in the frenzy because what it is, once our Spurs fans get in the mix, we can't stop. Yeah, I know. Do you know what I mean? We kind of get, a, get, a, get, a, get addicted to it a little yeah. bit. We kind of get this, there's almost false hope when yeah. a lot of the time it doesn't really work out for us. So it's kind of like, it ends up being so cool normally. But the thing is, it's not even just Bale, it's the fact that Reguilon as well, if, that, if I pronounce that correctly. Yeah. Reguilon. Reguilon, okay, say that again? Reguilon. Reguilon. I'll be honest, I, I, I laugh a little bit when I, because I can't pronounce it. You know what I mean? So I, I, I was going to say the same I thing. Always have to do like Regulon, 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 Regulon,
is probably maybe top 10 left back in Europe right now. Well, how do you say? Re, re, reg, regular. Re, 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 Pronounce it how? Regular. Regular, yeah. <laughs> yeah I was going to say Regular. So you'd put him, you'd put him top 10 I think I'd put him top 10. I'll, at I'm least 100% that. top yeah. 5 prospect. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. Because he's young, exactly, rapid, yeah. just won the Europa League, managed yeah. to knock out Wolves, Man United and Inter Milan in the final. He's got a career ahead of him. He's got a career ahead of him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He's already got the link up with Bell. So those two oh. together, it, well, maybe him and Son on the left hand side. The, the, the attacking bomb that's Doherty because he seems to be so far up the pitch. He seems to be further up than Kane up the pitch most of the time when I'm watching him play <laughs> recently. But honestly, I think, so those two signings are huge. But yeah. I think, I'll, I'll ask you, like, what would you think for the fans, for the fans bringing Bale back to the club? Finally, what does that I mean think, for everyone? I think, obviously, it's so fitting um, just for what we're going through. Like, as in we've got a new stadium, like, yeah, yeah. like relatively new manager, of course. Um, and I think it's just, even away from that, it's just been one, he's just been one of those guys that, we just always wanted to see back at the club. I mean, we were happy for it to see him leave. There was no, well, at least from the, from what I was seeing with it, fans, yeah, there was yeah. no bitterness when he left. No, at all. I think yeah. I think with, well, just on that quickly, like back then, like, we have to be honest. We were only in the Champions League once. Yeah, yeah. With that season, that he had the incredible hat trick against Inter Milan. Exactly. Like, yeah. That one season once, we were normally like we were mid table to Europa League team at the yeah, point. At we at didn't time, really yeah, have the pull yeah. to keep that kind of player because he was at the time yeah. going to be. Third best in the world behind Messi and Ronaldo. He had, he had the record signing. It was like what eighty mil? Yeah, yeah. He had the record signing. Yeah, record, record ahead of um, like Pog, well, no, Pog was up, ahead of um, Ronaldo. Like the guy was unreal. So we couldn't stop him from leaving. Exactly, and I think yeah. as a club like us, before the stadium, everything you couldn't turn yeah, down record signing for him. But yeah. I think every single fan wanted him to come oh, back. Every just, single wanted that. <laughs> even even like when he pulled up, I saw everyone throwing up the video of yep. him coming into the like. I saw every and it was Sam. So, Sam was behind the camera. Was there? He's, he's <laughs> one of the videos. He had the he had he had, obviously made that was like people taking selfies by the car. Yeah, like, yeah. And, and you know, is he's just one of those players that. You just you can't you 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 just have to love him. Do you know yep. what I mean? Like and and that's the reason why we're running him back. Like what you know we're one of those clubs like when players leave, we have no problem with players leaving. But mm -hmm. with Gareth Bell, he's an exceptional player. Like just you can just tell he's an exceptional guy, and it, it just hurt to see him go the first time. So to finally have him back finally seven years back. later. And the thing is like, that he was already really a club legend. Like yeah, the way people man. were talking about him, the fact that he's actually turned down big clubs reportedly being like United, yeah. PSG. Yeah. Like his, the agent came out saying that there were so many big offers that came from him and he said, no, I want to come back and play for Spurs. Because I think the issue with him is that being at Real Madrid, obviously he got hissed, yeah. booed, yeah. Like obviously had a poor relationship with Zidane. Yeah, exactly. like I think, and that, that's why he took up golf in the first place, because he was like, oh, I want to do something I love. Like, and he ain't, he's, gonna, he's not going to love getting whistled by everyone. So you know what, let me just get tee off time, 2.04 in the afternoon, forget training, forget the match that day. I'm going to go I'm gonna go play and try and get the best score possible. So I think what's, what he's kind of realised is that, right, I'm 31 years old, yeah. still really his prime, but yeah, you know, course, he's obviously yeah. got to have the end of his career in his mind. Yeah. And he's thinking, all right, I just want to be in love with football again. And yeah. I mean, just look at the response from yeah, the Spurs man, fans, yeah, man. There's, no much more, there's not much more love that you can get than what, we, <sighs> what we've been giving him, so it, oh, it's just, it doesn't feel real. real. It real, doesn't bro. feel real. real. I'm just waiting. Like he's done the medical. Yep. I'm just waiting for him. Like waiting for it. Sorry, to be confirmed. Like because right now it's like not in limbo. Obviously, we know that he's coming, but it's like yo, just let's just get this sealed they're and done, man. That, that, because they're trying to make that announcement probably the best thing ever. They're, they're probably too <laughs> the scared to release crazy. something. To yeah. release something in case it's just it's just some trash. Like oh, like, I don't know. Like, some of the suggestions were mad. Someone said he should be on the Skywalk up there with a golf ball hitting it into the pitch, like all nah. I'm just a man of like, every, um, or like abseiling off the side of that, that bit sticking out like down there. I've seen some crazy suggestions, but um, yeah. no, I'm, I'm so excited for I this. I think the announcement, like, I've, obviously even I don't think there's gonna be like announcement video every like and I can just imagine obviously that's what I'm assuming it might just be like uh, just a quick uh, it can't be a it quick, can't be a quick, it can't be I'm sorry a, yeah I think they know I think they know already like there's got to be Gareth drama yeah, there's got to be a man, mood like, it's got to shed I mean, a tear it's got to make you feel every <laughs> single emotion possible in this release man it has to it has to they've got to make it as as fun as a TikTok video bro. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean like that's literally what it is I want to see a movie I, I, you know what I wouldn't be surprised if they're just filming a, like all, all or nothing season or two and it's just Gareth Bell turning, uh, coming out to the club. All nine episodes are just him arriving. The medical, the rumours. Oh no, Man United are in for him. Oh, the, the but, despair. But you know what it is? That's for like, I think it's so big for like, for example, like us older fans. Like, but imagine like being eight years old. You mm. won't really understand the hype because he left seven years ago. Yeah. So it's like, 
I think for all all like the younger younger fans out there as well, like I think do your do your research and understand Trust this me. is a big this is actually a big thing. There's plenty of highlight reels going around of when you saw the hat trick, <laughs> the goals against West Ham, Stoke. There's, trust me, there's a lot. There's a lot to watch. It, I think his but he's not starting for another month, though. I know, I know. I think that, that's the problem though. Like he's he's went straight into the Wales team. And yeah. He, I don't think he played like that like, amazing. But again, like what he hasn't played, especially because of coronavirus as well. Yeah. He hasn't really played in months. <sighs> So I think we're just going to stick him on a mad regime. Mourinho is going to—he's going to probably go like fucking nil, man. Get, get, get the shit together, man. Come on, man. Like, Need, get it all no sorted. Fit, yeah. No fit. <laughs> yeah. He's got the mentality. He's got fed for the ba 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 ba. He's going to say that straight to him. I hope Mourinho is catching. Be a clever. Yes. <laughs> oh, I, I, call I, love the guy. I love the guy. He's going to call him into his office. Yeah, like, yeah. Go back, but it's over now. We need to get straight to work. He'll I'm probably come in saying, asking like, so, so, any news on Milan? <laughs> like, no, <laughs> nah, oh, man, man. It's, that... it's, it's sick, bro. Honestly, I'm like sort of excitement, bro. Like, I'm seeing people saying, oh, he's too old, this, he's too old. I'm just thinking, bro, shut up, man. Like, right. shut up. The same people saying he's too old are the same people that are praising a Bamiang who's older than him, yeah. Aguero <laughs> who's older than him, Ronaldo and Messi who Bale was in the conversation with yeah, those two yeah. when he was at his peak. Yeah. They're like what, 34, 35? 35, and they're still yeah. playing like 24 year olds. Yeah. I get it. Yeah, I get it. Bale's had like injury issues yeah. before and that, but yeah. he's still like I'm not hearing that though. I'm nah. not hearing that because it's it's all biased, like you said. Oh, but it will be I'm hearing it mostly from Arsenal fans. I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, shut it's, up, it's bro. Like, just, you know what I mean? But when ridiculous. when Obama signed a new contract, like, oh my gosh, oh, he's just getting started. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? It's like, bro, don't this do that. His career started you know what I mean? in his retirement, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, don't do that, bro. Because now we've got Bell, and I'll be really such an attack on force. And I feel like that's what man needed, bro. Well, all right, we're talking about the fans. Mm. It's time to talk about the team and the boost that has for the team. And like you said, the quality he has is unreal. unreal and I bro. think what we've been missing kind of right now is that, all right, okay, Kane, mm. obviously, one of, if not the best striker in the world. A hundred. Unreal finisher. I but Unreal. I think what I've noticed in at least these first two games with Everton mm. and Plovdiv, he needs the service, yeah, right? He needs facts. the service. For Everton, he had none whatsoever until Ndombele came on the pitch. And he was yeah. the first player I saw. In the, it, took what, it took 75 minutes for a pass to actually go down the middle yeah. into Kane. Ndombele, was, he played class, man. And I think without Lo Celso, he didn't have that. We saw it a bit more with Plovdiv. He kind of mm. needed the service, but then he didn't have the space to shoot. Mm. What I think Bale offers, which is a bit different, is that the guy could literally finish from anywhere. Anywhere, bro. Anywhere. anywhere. We saw some of the magic goals he used to throw at Spurs. We saw overhead kick against Liverpool in the final with Real Madrid. That goal, which, by the way, my favourite goal ever to score by Bell, not in a Spurs shirt, was when, I think it was the Copa del Rey final, yeah. when he knocked the ball past Bartra, or whoever it was, playing right back for Barcelona, went off, had a cup of tea and some churros, <laughs> beat him back to the ball, onto the pitch, and then scored the goal. It, it, was, it was phenomenal. I'll be phenomenal. real. I actually watched, um, like, there was, like, um, stuff, obviously, on the internet, like, Gareth Bell, like, best goals. And yeah, I, yeah. I was sat there, I was like, Please, please, please. I just need to see some of these goals. Like, <laughs> I just need to see some of these goals from Bell because, bro, like you said, overhead, like even Inter Milan, like he scores the most unreal yeah. goals, bro. And it looks effortless. Effortless. It I think the effortless. closest we have to that in the team is Son right now. Yeah. But yeah. I think I think Bell just takes it to the next the level. Next could level, you yeah. imagine we had Son and Bale? Both sides, both could cut in, shoot, bro, bro. take a man on, do do what? Oh, All right, the so volleys. I've, I've got a question here. Yeah. Okay, go on. Go we've on got Bell, Son, Kane, yeah. Yep. Where do you think, do you think we're contenders? Like, do you, honestly, because now, nah, you know what I mean? Liverpool just signed Thiago. There's Tug and Jota. Have you seen that, bro? They, that yeah, kind of are, came out of nowhere. Yeah, they were just are. like, it was a rumour in the morning that, oh yeah, we're, like, oh, yeah, we're gonna, <laughs> potentially going to get Jota. Next thing I know, two hours later, oh yeah, it's done, 41 mil. <laughs> and and that's how you do announcements. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. on quick. So that's what I'm thinking. Like, do you, I think, obviously, Champions League were default going for top four. Yeah. 100%. Um, if, if, it links up how we, we think it will link up. Yeah. But like, do you think we could potentially... It's a, it's, it feels like a long shot, but bro... I think the optimist in me, because I am very optimistic, is yeah. saying yes, 100%. Yeah, facts. The, the reason why is because I think is, the only reason why is because I think back, like we came second and came so close with a team. Obviously it was unreal, Yeah. but in terms of the, the, the players that we have now, yeah. the quality players we have now and the manager, I think it's just that next level. Next level so yeah, it makes man. me think, yes, yeah, surely we can contend. Yeah. But the only thing like that's different between then and now yeah. is that I think there are way more teams in it this year. Yeah, yeah. Way more teams. Obviously, Liverpool are going to try and hold it. Like you said, just Santiago. Yeah. Man City, no doubt, are going to try and bounce back, Shit, get yeah. the win the league. Chelsea have just spent Jeff Bezos' net worth on players <laughs> the whole summer. 
And yeah. like I, I, I see Man United potentially strengthening if Martial, Rashford, and Greenwood yeah. play well. Everton started off brilliantly. Mm. Leicester making a couple of new set. Like there's a lot it's of teams true. going in yeah, for it. It's true, so bro. it's going to be harder than ever. I think the main priority for us has to be winning the Europa League. Yeah. Because that's that will be surefire Champions it's League football. True. Yeah. And a trophy. And a trophy. And Mourinho did it with a worse squad at Man United. <laughs> so I mean. And we've got Bell now. And we've got like, Bell. And the link ups that will be. Ha- oh, bro. The team. Th- okay, oh. right, right. So, oh, okay, right. Say, say these findings go ahead, right? We've got Larissa goal. Yeah. Back four. Doherty, Sanchez, Toby, Regulon. Regulon. Mm. Regulon Reg- Lento. <laughs> um, midfield of any... My dream is for it to be Hoiberg sitting and then a Nombele and Lo Celso next to each other. If those two can actually hit their like peak, peak form yeah. and play well, the creativity in that is unreal. Yeah. And then you've got Son, Kane, Bale. And hold on. Then we actually have a bench because we could bring on oh, Bergwijn, yeah, Lucas, Sissoko if you need to like hold out at the end of a game. Yeah. We have finally so many options, which oh, would be insane. And we're not even true. done. We're supposed to get another striker and a centre back. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is? I think, I honestly think, yeah, even looking at the options, we, like you said, even our bench now, I, f- I honestly think it's Mourinho's influence. Yeah, 100%. That's, that, that's just my honest the opinion. The mentality's changed. The, the, we managed to bring in players that I, we couldn't even dream of before, yeah. really. Because you'd want, like, if, let's be honest, if you were a footballer, yeah, obviously, like, let's strip away what, we've, what people hear about Mourinho. You'd want to play under him. Yeah. That's 100%. just what it's like, you wanted to play under Ferguson. Like, you'd want to play under Mourinho. He's just one of those managers, one of the most successful as well. So that's really a pulling point for us as mm-hmm. well, as far as, like, 100%. you can hold weight in meetings where we want to get these type of players. Like, let's listen, we've got Mourinho. Um, I'm sure he'd like to, you know what I mean? Like, stuff like that. Supposedly, he, as soon as he got the green light from Levy to open discussion, apparently he just straight up just rang Bale, rang Reggie on, just saying, look, told them the project. And like, that's He's the on crud. Crud. Mourinho's on crud, Arsenal man. fans, Arteta's got Paul and they've just got a player signing a new contract and getting players on a free, <laughs> like on retirement jobs. But <laughs> when they won the effort, bro, when, I, oh, I, don't, bro, bro. <laughs> yeah, let me not even, let's not even, but, oh. yeah, but listen, we're coming. They're putting now, us through pain. Yeah. They're, they're putting us through back soons on our screen, not being able to watch football matches. This is what they're doing by winning the FA Cup. I'm fuming. Bro, Pete, I'm hearing man name saying our trophy cabinet is buffering. I was like, oh my god. Man said it's loading. I haven't heard that one before. That's a good bro, one. Bro, they said our trophy cabinet is buffering. Bro, you see me, I stay away from the t- from Twitter now. I stay away yeah, from yeah. it. Like when I search, like, yeah, Tottenham trophy. Like I don't do that no more because now <laughs> it's just fl- filled with like banter against us. And it's like, I always hit from Man U and Chelsea. I'm like, what? Like, yeah, I'm gonna stick up for a team, but it's like, bro, we just I need some if we won the Champions League, like that's it. Bro. I can't lie, no one would have they been able to talk to me. Nah, nah, <laughs> their Arsenal fans would never be able to hear the end of it ever, ever. If we just like, we were so close. And we, were so, we did all of that, that semi final, to then just go out after 22 the seconds. Was magical in the as well. final was the semi final was, was magical, bro. But, oh. you know, obviously, bro, like you said now, we've got our link ups, we've, yep. we've got our team looking solid, or well, if it plays out how we think. Yep. I'm excited. There's so much to look forward to now. Yeah, so I'm excited, much. bro. Everyone, I'm excited. After the Everton game, everyone was down, oh, everyone was, was in the mud. Man. No one expected it, anything else to happen. It was be like, oh, brilliant. I was over. I saw one now, I just said, this literally, I was just like, are we back to that now? Are yep. we actually back to that? But it's exciting. It is so, so, I'm excited. so exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. They should really do it all or nothing for this season. They really well. should. <laughs> this is probably the better season to do it for, to be fair. But you know what? I'm going to have to make my own. If it, like, leave, leave a like down below if you want to see a George Achillean doing all or nothing documentary for this season. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see, man. But honestly, I think we're just gassed. Yeah. Bale is finally home. Yeah. We're making moves. Hopefully, we can finish this season with multiple trophies. Multiple, bro. Multiple trophies will be loved. I, I mean, I, I won't be greedy. I'll take one. <laughs> I'll you're take, you know, like... you're opening, It's fine. It's enough. It's, it's enough. enough. It will make me content. Then we just win the Premier League and Champions League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine with me. Even the FA Cup. I'll FA be like, Cup, yeah, yeah come. You know that's, that's fine. Yeah. As long as we get top four in FA Cup. I'm good. Top four FA Cup or Europa League and, and whatever. I'm, I yeah, think I'll I'm be, good. I think I'll be good. good. Go All right. Would you take finishing 11th but winning the Europa League? I think so I, that's guaranteed. I would have to, surely, because yeah, it's guaranteed, guaranteed Champions, Champions League, League yeah. and it's a trophy. And it's a trophy. So I think when it yeah, comes to the Europa yeah. League, I don't think position really matters. We could come 17th and win no, the Europa League, and I would be gassed. I'll be gassed. Because <laughs> it doesn't, be you know I mean? it doesn't matter. And then, we won a trophy. Exactly, because you won a trophy, you're in Champions League, so you could still, if, like you said, problems with players coming, or like mm. players aren't good enough, say, for example, yeah. by the fact that we're in the Champions League and we won a trophy, it's surely enough pool, to say, all right, we can get some yeah. other players in or something to fix to fix any issues. Yeah. So I think I've got to take that. Yeah, I'll so would you say it was a good transfer? Though? You know what? Genuinely, I think I would say yes, purely because it's not even just about the ability. The fact that we've just signed Bale alone yeah. has lifted the mood of, of everyone every, yeah. and yeah. everything. And it's made everyone so happy. Yeah. And I think I, I wouldn't trade that for like coming like four. seventh and yeah. then like FA Cup or something. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think yeah. that's 
I think I think Bell coming like Bell coming home. Like Bell it is home. Like, it Bell is, coming it is home. home now. It's, 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 huge. Like, it's made. It's, it's like you said. It's lifted up the mood for a lot of our fans and right and rightly so, bro. Because it's always been like a dream to kind of get him back and we've got him back and it's like. What more could you ask for? Do you know what I mean? Exactly. In a year where we can't w watch matches from the stadium, at least we know that we've got Bell playing. So. Oh, oh man, it's going to be unreal. I'm gas, I'm gas as well. The announcement's coming, well. bro. The it's happening. Coming. Oh, it's getting coming. chills. And they're going to do a mad thing. Little shit, they have to. They have to. They can't <laughs> flop this one now. Surely. Just think about it like this. Kane and Bell up front. Bro! Bro! Oh, 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 Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy! <laughs> oh, Bernie's oh, all day long. Listen, man, bro, listen. Man said Kane... Um, but I'm gonna be honest. Like the man, them have to stick, like pick up their game now because now we've got Bell. When you've got world, like, you Kane on penalties, Bale on free kicks, oh, them two running so... madness. Son just doing whatever the hell he wants because he's just gonna blaze everyone. That might even be a, like a, um, some pull to keep Harry Kane. You know, like oh, you're playing 100%. against one of the best players in the world. That, you know that was mean? huge because I think person, I think he was gone next year. Yeah. If we didn't win anything and we didn't like show ambition some in any way, well, whatever. Exactly, whereas, yeah. The fact that we've got, like stuck it, like as as the uh, agent said, Levy stuck his neck out yeah. and gone for one of the world's best players, who's potentially injury prone, but yeah. doing it for the fans, doing it for the club, yeah. it's it's a madness. I think I think it was bigger. Obviously, like we know he has to shake off this knee injury, but I feel like it was it was bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It, was, it was more so. It's not just his, him yeah, coming like because once away, even when he, like once he comes in, I, I I think we can get like hopefully you know it's a long time before he gets injured again, but I think we can get a, a handful like a yeah. bag full of games from him. Us getting Bell, I'm happy Messi didn't go Man City because if he did, oh, that would have been a mad thing. I like part of me wants to see him in the Prem, but then also it's like only if he's here. He and there's no, here. Way, there's no <laughs> way he's coming here. So I think I'm, I'm kind of happy he chose to stay at Barca in the end, bro. Oh man. Anyway, I think we're, we're going to wrap up here because we've been talking for ages, but it's hard bro, not to, man. Everyone's just to, gassed everyone's excited, about Bale. Bro. I'm gassed. I'm excited. I'm happy. Looking forward to us to come, exactly. bro. Make sure you subscribe to George's channel, you know, because listen, 100k subscribers and he'll do it all or nothing. I'm saying it now. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's I'm he's throwing me under the bus there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, nah, we, just joking, 60, we just hit 60. We just hit 60 k. So I've got to give mad love to everyone that's been supporting the channel 100%. lately. Huge growth recently, and yeah, supporting the streams as well. Like each stream is getting like over 100 k views from like just watching Spurs Sick. at home, bro. Like yeah, support has been insane. But yeah, 100 k, and apparently I'm doing all or nothing season two. So. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, bro, I appreciate you coming on, My man. Guy. It's been My a guy. pleasure. Definitely gonna Look do some more stuff soon. Leave a like, comment, everything if you want to see Mitch on again. And uh, yeah, man, I guess we'll see you guys when Bale's playing at the lane. Sick. Let's go. Sick. Peace. No, there ain't no stopping us. Fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.